Welcome to another edition of Soul on Soul with Finesse. That's your boy Finesse. Uh, doing this thing what we do with the indie artists every Sunday night starting at 10 p.m. Uh, thank you for making us one of the hottest new shows. And we can only thank COVID in a good way because we know COVID was a bad thing. But COVID in a good way got us to pivot towards something that we can highlight some of the artists. We've been all over the world, Italy, Africa, uh, just all over. It's been amazing on this journey. Met so many incredible artists, France. So it's nice to uh, be able to do this and see the music and see how soul music has touched the whole entire world. Well, tonight I'm keeping it home base in Baltimore, Maryland. And I have one of the incredible artists uh, that I've had the chance to be around, watch them perform, incredible writer, super intelligent, and they're also funny. They got a nice YouTube page, and we'll get in that to, to as well. My guest today is none other than Miss Sita Starr. She joins Soul on Soul with Finesse. Sita, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for such a nice intro. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem, Sita. So I know you, but the rest of the world doesn't know you. So I'm going to ask this question. And you can let the world know. Who is Sita Star? Sita is a uh, individual who wants no labels in particular, right? I don't want to be boxed in because I feel like I can be whatever I want to be. You know, as long as I put my mind to it, I can become whatever I want to become. So, I just try my best to always stay open, always stay fluid. And so, I mean, if I did have to just put a word to it, I would just say I'm a, a visionary. I just, I see what I feel and I just go with it. All right. I like that. Never heard anyone use it. That's great. I like that. Visionary. Um, so <laughs> since I'm asking questions, uh -huh. Peter, and I always ask this question of music artists because everyone's definition is different. So what is your definition of soul music? Hmm. Soul music to me is music that you literally feel your soul, you know, certain, certain sounds just resonate um, and just makes you feel. Like that's mm -hmm. the most important part that makes you feel. Yeah. And, and and we talked about soul. Who are some of your favorite soul artists that you listen to or that you really like that really have been an example for you and your career? Oh man, let's see. Um I'm gonna say like newer newer artists today. I listen to um a lot of Janae and to um Lauren Hill, I listen to Erica Badu, um, her um taking it back even further. I love Billy Holiday, um, Anita Baker. I'm well run. I listen to all genres of music too. So pretty much my playlist is all over the place. But like I said, music is just it's how you feel. So Whatever I'm feeling, that's what I listen to. All right. Now we got to go into our first break, Sita. But before I do, I always give my guests the opportunity to share their social media. Can you share your social media so that folks can follow you? And if you have a website, you can share that as well. Yes. Yeah, so my social media handle is Sita Star, C I T A S T A R. And that's on. Instagram, that's on Twitter, that's on Facebook. So all you have to do is just search for Cita Star, C I T A S T A R. And all of my social media platforms, they have a link to where you can find my music, which is also available on all streaming platforms. So just as long as you um, go to any of my social media, you'll be able to get that. All right. Now, folks, when we come back from the break, I'm going to ask Sita about her being a visionary. What does that mean for her? Because like I said, she has a YouTube page. 
I didn't know, know this chick was that funny. Watch the YouTube <laughs> page and you'll see it. So come on back. Soul on soul with finesse. We're keeping you soul connected. You know how we do, son. We'll be right back. All right. That was segment one. See how easy that was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we're going to go into segment two. And, and I kind of give you an idea of where I'm going with this next question. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Segment two, Soul on Soul with Finesse. Coming down to five, four, three, two. Welcome back, Soul on Soul with Finesse. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, you can follow me on all social media platforms, including TikTok under Soul on Soul with Finesse and Finesse is spelled with a PH and not an F. All right. And if you have a question or comment, or you think you may want to be a guest on the show, email me, soul on soul with finesse at gmail.com. My guest today is the lovely, talented Cedar Star. And uh, we heard a little bit of music uh, in the last segment when we came out of the first break. But now we're going to talk to Cedar and we're going to hear some more music throughout the show. Now let's talk to Cedar about being a visionary. So, Cedar, visionary. You know, most people, they want to do music, they just do music. And we've seen some um, people branch out into acting and doing all these other different things. But you said visionary as as regards to see the star. What is your visionary plan or where you see yourself when it comes to entertainment? So, for example, when it comes to music in particular, um, a lot of the ideas I'll see at first, as crazy as that sounds, even when it comes to music, um, I'll, I'll see a scenario maybe in my head or just, I just, I just see it, right? So with that, that's where I, I start my writing. That's where I kind of map out just a scenario, um, an experience. And from there, I, um, I'll record it. I'll make a song of it. I want to do more musical visuals. Um, that's one thing that I'm planning on doing soon because, like I said, with me seeing it, I, I can literally see a music video, for example, before I even create the song. Like I kind of just have it all mapped out in my mind. So but that's how it is when it comes to music in particular. And then just any scenarios, even with like skits that I make up or anything like that. I kind of will just see it in my head at first and then I'll just try to put it out on the video and, and I mentioned you do your YouTube page can you let the listeners know what your YouTube page is and the type of videos that they will see when they go to your YouTube page yes so um my YouTube see the star and there's music, there's all of my music on YouTube as well, but then there's also just some skits that I do, you know, I'll, some of them are funny, some of them are like real life scenarios, some of them are just dramatic scenarios that may not happen to me in particular, but it's just fun to just act out and create. I never knew you had that comedic side of you. When did you, <laughs> dis when did you discover that? And when did you decide that, you know what, along with my music, I want to show another side of me. When did you decide to start doing all that? Look, life can get crazy, right? And mm -hmm. so it's like the best medicine, the best therapy for me anyway is laughter, right? To make, to make light of the situation, to find the humor and stuff. So a lot of times, even like some of the skits I've done, they're like, it might not always end in a good situation, but like I'll create it to where it's kind of like a mockery of it. And it kind of just will make you chuckle like, oh my goodness. So that's what made me start doing it. Cause it's, for me, it's like a form of therapy. It's just fun to do and fun to just mock the ideas or the things that people do and say. Mm. Now, see that you had talked about music videos and I'm going to get on you. So folks, this is personal. Because I've known Cedar for a minute and watch her perform. Cedar, when are you going to go do a goddamn music video? Let me get to the point. When are you going to do a music video? Stop playing. Stop playing with me and the folks out there. I know. I, so I, the, I feel like the thing is, is just finding someone that really gets my visual, right? Because, like, mind you, I'm open to ideas, you know, and 
I'm open to having someone help me, but I also I, I also want to be hands on so much. Like I would love to be involved as well. So I think it's just finding the right the right people and just the right space to where I can kind of just put my ideas to life. All right. So to my so to my video folks, my directors. I know you guys check the show out all the time. Uh, Cedar needs some help. Cedar is the Tupac of music. And the reason why I say this, Cedar got songs upon songs upon songs. Am I lying, Cedar? I do have so much music that I haven't even put out. I just, I'm like, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you folks are like LMA, her, and all those groups. This is no lie. Cedar was doing that sound and that style before any of them. That's how good and talented Cedar is. And as a writer and a, you produce it now too, right? Yes. Yeah. So Cedar is a, I, you know, you can find people that's been doing stuff before a lot of other people that may be discovered or have the money to get on before somebody else, but there's always somebody that's talent, more talented than they are. And I love you, LMA. I love you, her. Don't kill me. You know, I still want y'all on the show, but Cedar is right up there with you. Right up there with you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I appreciate that. Um, so what when you when you go in to create a song, you talked about you can see the song when you start writing it. But what is your inspiration? Because you are a pretty deep but simple writer, if that makes sense. So what is mm -hmm. what what inspires you? So a lot of times it'll be just things that I've seen, things that I've experienced. Um, it, when I say seen, it could just be something as like I just saw a, a movie and I saw a situation and I just try to put myself in a situation in, in a song form, you know, just try to evoke those emotions and feelings. Okay. All right. Now. You know, folks, we got to take another break because, you know, we got to pay the bills around here. So on, so with Finesse and my executive producer, we got to get paid, paid his money. We don't pay the artists, of course. They do these interviews out of love and we love them for coming on. And I hit Cedar up and Cedar was like, of course, she'll be on. So I appreciate it. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about Cedar's music, find out what she's currently working on. And maybe we can convince her to do an EP. And you guys know I hate EPs. But see, they got that much music. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be back. So long, so a finesse. We'll be right back. All right, that was segment number two. Segment number three. Okay. All right, coming on a five, four, three, two. Welcome back, so long, so a finesse. It's your boy finesse and my special guest, Cedar Star. And uh, Cedar, you know, let's talk. Let's talk music. What What are you yeah. currently working on now? So I have just some songs and on some hard jobs, you know what I'm saying? I, I have songs. I just haven't decided what exactly I want to do yet. Um, I'm not sure if I want to create an EP. I'm not sure if I want to try to pitch it. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do just yet. Mm -hmm. um, why has it taken you the last 2000 years to put together an EP or an album? So, you know, I feel like, I feel like a lot of times I need just a sign where it's like, you know what, this is the right time. And like, I've had moments where, you know what, I'm going to do it, but then how everything just aligns, I'm just like, eh, not yet, not yet. So mind you, like I said, I have to, I have music, so once I get that go, I feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. <laughs> so, so to the fans that are listening to Cedar, our Cedar fans, and if you're soul on soul with finesse fans, I need y'all to hit up Cedar and be like, yo, now's the time, now's <laughs> the time to put out some music and a video, just hit her up. Uh, where would you like to see your career go from here? 
I would love, you know, I would love, I would love for a random portion of the song to like just be viral on like the platforms like TikTok. I, it's funny, I found some good song on these platforms and it, it, it'll just be like a snippet, you know? And mm. I'm like, that would be so crazy if, you know, somehow they, I don't know if they, they do a dance or what, but that would be really cool. That would be really cool. And I, it's like, what is the secret, right? Like I've heard so many songs go viral and they all sound different. So it's kind of like, is it is it fate? Like, what is it, you know? Are mm. they finding people with a massive following and paying them to start it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but that'd be awesome. What about movie soundtracks and commercials? Are you, is that in the plans of maybe perhaps uh, maybe doing some jingles uh, to stay keeping your feet wet in the ground to see where your career takes you? And, and what about um, writing something for film? I would love to. I would love to. Um, like I said, I can, I can write about anything, right? As long as I just put my headspace and whatever it is the topic is about. Most definitely, I would love to do film, TV shows, jingles, anything. All right. Now, I want to get into playing one of your songs. You tell us the song. You send us your 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 four favorites. Uh, so I'll let you pick the song. Uh, you introduce it. We're going to play that for everyone right now. Okay. So I will say I would like for you to play... Dear Girl, um, that's one of my favorite songs that I've created. Um, it's just a song about encouragement and just a letter, even even the cover of it. It's just um, literally me writing Dear Girl, because it's kind of like a letter to, to any woman that's ever felt, you know, unsure of themselves or insecure. I wrote this song for you. All right, you heard it. See the star, dear girl, so on and so with finesse. We'll be right back. All right, last segment. See how fast that was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So I'm going to ask you now about your thoughts on the industry. And uh, I know I wanted to ask you, but oh, what words of encouragement would you give young ladies getting into music today? All right. Okay. All right. Segment four, the final segment. So long, so with finesse coming down in five, four, three, two. Welcome back. So long, so with finesse. You just heard See the Star, dear girl. Uh, and I think she's going to cause a movement with all the young ladies out there. And since we're talking young ladies, and I see the um, being a single woman in this, not single. Being an independent woman in this world, in the music business, can be very hard because not everyone is honest in what they do, especially when it comes to women. So what advice would you give to young women or women in general that want to get involved in the entertainment business? What are some of the dangers that they should look for? I would say... First of all, always follow your intuition, right? Always go with your gut. If you get an uneasy feeling, it, it's it's real. No need to second guess or doubt yourself. Um, I would definitely say always have um, always have a trusted companion. You know, whether it's um, somebody doing the music with you, um, just somebody that you can trust that you can have with you when you go to certain situations, go to certain meetings. Um, it's just always good to just have someone that can just be there as a second or third. You know, if, even if you have a group of people you can come with, like do all that and um, just stand your ground, know what you want. You know, don't let anyone manipulate you or make you just question what it is you're looking for. I know you mentioned earlier you want to stay independent. So that's in my mind, and we've had these conversations, but it's good for, you know, other people to hear someone else's thoughts on the matter when it comes to being an independent artist and the business. When it comes to this industry, 
why do you choose to stay an independent artist instead of being signed? I think, I think that I'm so particular of what it is I want to do that I feel like a lot of times if I was to enter into an agreement that um, I feel like my my artistry and just and just even my own business views might not be met necessarily, and so. I've always just found it easier just to do my own thing, just to have people in my corner that, you know, can just meet me where I want to be at. And it just, it just, it just has been easier for me. Um, Not to say that, you know, things can't change in the future necessarily, but I want to say at least for the past few years, it's just been easier. Mm. How did, how, how, how has COVID treated you and your career and you're growing, you know, for that two and a half years, we've mainly been shut down. How has that helped you? I want to say that um, it's made me just tune into myself more. Um, I've been able to write and um, just hone in on my craft more. And then especially even more with like the videos, you know, that's where that's where I got the time to just, well, hey, let me just play around with my camera and just have fun with it. So it's definitely been useful when it comes to creativity because you're you're literally forced with the time, especially during the lockdown, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, See, you're such an incredible talent and and I've had a chance to have you perform at a show what's the future of you really get in front of your audience and performing not just on tracks but with a live band will we see that uh coming up in 2023 I would love that I would love that I definitely haven't been envisioning that for myself um you know music is just different when it's live so I definitely would love to you know perform my songs even even through covers, you know, um, I've definitely found some favorite songs of mine from other artists that I wouldn't mind like doing covers of and just doing my own interpretation of them. And so definitely like, I, I would love to soon do that for sure. Um, you, uh, going back to you, some of the artists that you follow, you pretty much name a heavy hitter of, of, Black women in the music business that are considered strong writers, singers, and role models for others. Do you consider yourself a strong role model and singer? I would. Um, of course, I'm not on the level of you know the artists I have named, but I've had I've had people reach out to me, and especially a lot of local artists. You know, they they see my journey, they listen to my music, and they're like, "Wow!" Like you know, like seeing you do it, like you inspired me to do this. So, you know, especially at a local level, I'm definitely glad to be an inspiration. Um, I feel like I still have so much work to do, but to get those types of compliments and stuff, it definitely keeps me going because you never know who's watching. A lot of times, I'm hard on myself, and I might be like, "Uh, well, I don't know," but definitely can make a difference. I can say this, ladies and gentlemen, she is extra hard on herself because it took me forever to get her to do a show in Baltimore. And when she did, I was like, yo, what are you doing? You got to perform more. So she, I I really, you know, um, I really want people to really follow Sita and, and, and listen to her music. Because I feel like when you folks do, you will see what myself and Corey saw. And that's a super talented young woman that is is the next star, as her name says. Uh, so we, we, we can't wait to see you see to do some, some uh, fabulous things because you, you just need one stage, one mic, like Nas, Nas said, one stage, one mic. And people going people are gonna lose their mind when they see you perform. Um, yeah. see, 
and, and I'm getting someone asked me a question, one of these producers around here. If a producer or someone that needs someone to sing vocals on their track or help writing, is there an email address that folks can get in contact with you and maybe connect and do something, work with you? Absolutely. Um, see the star music at gmail.com. You know, um, feel free to reach out, you know, any music, any, any help with writing. I'm, I'm down for it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, see the star, not the next big one. It is one that y'all miss. We've already discovered her. Trust me, when she blow up, y'all going to say, yo, Finet, she was on Finesse show. And see the when you blow up, you got to come back. You got to say, hey, I owe my big brother this this chance. So don't forget about me when you when you make it and you live in somewhere uh, uh, somewhere else. I'm still here in Baltimore. You hear me? Mm, I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. But thank you so much for being on So Long, So With Finesse. You know, um, anytime, anytime you got music, you know, we got you willing to play your music. You're such a, a positive role model in everything that you do. So once again, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. That's going to do it for this edition of Soul on Soul of Finesse. You know, join us again next Sunday. Same soul channel, same soul time. You know how we do. Keeping your soul connected. Peace, love, and finesse. Catch you next time. Yeah.